I'm Jeff Bond and I'm a member of the Serviceide field staff. Check out Serviceide at serviceide.com. We're going to go down here and check out the trail cam, see what we got on the camera. It is late February. We've got a little bit of snow on the ground as you can see. Been kind of kind of cold and snowy and of course wet. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of wet weather, some snow. So we're gonna go down here and check out the camera, see if we got any antlers getting loose and falling off and see kind of what the status is of that. Right, here we go, here, here's the camera. Right over here, get this card out, see what we got. Here's the camera. This is the mole tree trail cam. Had good success out of this so far, it takes good pictures. Flip it off. Alright. Dead battery, man. Don't you hate it when you come to your trail camera to see what pictures you got and this is what you get right here. See? Dead battery. <clears throat> yeah, don't you hate it when you're like this and you come to your camera to see that the batteries are dead and you've lost the pictures that would have been taken, the video, whatever you got going on and you can't go back and get that. You know, the batteries are dead, you've lost that. And here it is, late February, and you know, we need to see the antlers falling off, the movement of the deer, see what is has still been hanging around in the area. And here it is, you know, you've lost that. So that's why it's important, especially after the season also, to uh, continue to keep an eye on your camera. You know, if you was like me during the season, you was, you know, checking out the camera, you know, once a week, once a month, whatever it was, keeping a close eye on it, making sure that it was still taking pictures, still tracking that movement of the deer that she was keeping an eye on. And uh, then here it is, it's February, and uh, you might let things slip a little bit. You, know, you haven't been in the woods every day, you know, like you was back during the season. And here it is now, the season has ended, been over with for, for a couple of months now. And uh, you may let things slip a little bit, might, you know, let things slide and and you know, let a week go by, let a couple of weeks go by, and here it is like a month has gone by, and uh, we come check the camera and the batteries are dead. So that is why it's important to keep an eye on your camera, even during the off season, even during the season like it is now, whenever you know, the antlers are dropping off and you know the, the deer that was, was moving around during the season, you still need to keep a track on these guys and still need to see what's happening, what's moving around, what's staying in the area. Um, so you can keep a close track and a close, close eye on what is going on. So that is why it's important to uh, always keep an eye on your camera, even when you're not hunting, even when you're not in the woods, because uh, batteries go dead. You know, they, they die and they fell on you. Um, especially, they seem to do so whenever uh, you're not keeping an eye on your camera. You know, if you haven't uh, looked at it in a month, you know, here it is, it's been about a month since I've checked on, the batteries have went dead. So it is, it is a good idea to you continue to keep uh, your scouting going on, continue to check on your cameras, uh, check on these batteries. Now, what I would like to say about the batteries uh, is uh, I am a big fan of these uh, lithium batteries for trail cameras. Um, most of the time, these batteries will last me at least six months and uh, I'm a big fan of these uh, Energizer lithium. I've had really good success out of these with this particular camera. Now not everybody might have the same same success as I have had but, but I have had good success with these batteries in this camera. It seems like that they, they last a very long time. Like I said most of the time they go for me about every six months before I have to replace them and uh, they do cost a little bit more but if you're having to buy a pack of these um, every month uh, versus every six months for these, then uh, 
it's, it's, it comes out a lot to be it be a lot cheaper overall, and that's what you have to look at. You know, is these batteries, these eight batteries, that just these regular batteries that I'm buying once a month. You know, whereas I can buy these, they may cost a little more. They might cost double, but these might last six months versus maybe a month or two months. That is what you have to weigh out. And I think that the value that you get with the Energizer batteries, the uh, the lithium, the lithium batteries. Uh, you are getting more for your money because, especially for a camera, um, you are getting the uh, the longer run time. Now, also, I believe the Energizer, um, the lithium type batteries, do better in a uh, colder weather and extreme temperatures. And it, in fact, it even says on the back right here, it says um, these are are to perform in extreme temperatures, negative 40 degrees to 140 degrees. So we see the 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 great um, difference here in in the quality of these batteries and probably why they last longer because here it is we have these cold temperatures here and uh and that that, that helps out a lot i believe in the colder weather is the range of these batteries so enough on batteries and like i've talked about them them enough we'll we'll change these guys out right here get rid of these old ones and and i just usually try to take the old ones out and of course hang on to these and throw these things away uh, you know some guys will just take these and just you know throw them you know do whatever do whatever with them and, and you know you can do what you want to on your own land but but we need to try to take care of everything try to keep the woods as clean as possible this where we we spend a lot of time where we hunt Let's put these guys in right here I got these Energizer lithium batteries. Like I said, I really like these. I've been a pretty big fan of these since I started using these versus the, the regular type batteries. Um, have a lot of good luck, got good success, long run times out of these, and they have worked out very well. And there it is. I put these in there, and I can I can hear they have made connection here. Okay, we do have a green light coming on now. And here it is. We are ready to go. This camera, like I said, has been very good to me as I've had this camera for two or three years now. A lot of guys seem like they have a, a big problem with cameras not lasting long, but I think it is very important to, uh, to keep them active, keep batteries in them, keep them functioning. I believe that's where the key is at, um, is to not let them run plumb dead and then let them sit in the woods for, for six months or whatever. I believe that is more damaging to the cameras than anything else. So that is something to keep in mind, and, and, and right now I'm seeing some deer movement right over here, so apparently my presence here in the woods isn't bothering them the least bit. So so that's good to see, it's good to know that, that uh, they've kind of recovered from the shock of all the guns going off. And, Everybody's shooting at him, so, so that's good to see. So hopefully what I have shared with you might help you a little bit in choosing the uh, the right batteries for the job and also keeping these cameras active. I believe that's very important during the off season and most of all to keep a check on them even, even whenever you're not hunting, when you're not in the woods because it's important to track the movement of the deer and just continue to keep an eye on what's in the area because you never know when that big buck might start showing up here in a few months whenever he starts growing his antlers back and it's always special to get those pictures of the of the antlers in growth whenever you got the velvet on there the big thick velvet the antlers growing that's always nice to see so keep an eye on those cameras and uh, keep good batteries in them all right guys thanks for watching the video today if you got any questions or comments or tips then you may let me know Maybe something we can share on a future video as well. Thank you for watching.